There were very few cases in the history of our civilization when the established global political system was forced to surrender to the inflexible willpower and intention of a single honest and respectable person to make the world better and more fair. Most of us are well aware of the names of such outstanding people as Nelson Mandela, who struggled for human rights in the apartheid times, and Mahatma Gandhi, whose activity and truly humane principles made it possible to free India from colonization without firing a single shot. Beyond all doubt, internal moral principles of these people caused major transformation and proved that the power of spirit overcomes the power of arms and people's disbelief in the possibility of changes for the better. The safest course is to believe in the moral government of the world and therefore in the supremacy of the moral law, the law of truth and love. Nowadays, we can witness the appearance of even a more unique personality, who champions the right of not just citizens of a separate country, but all the people living on the earth, and this is the right to know the truth and to live in the world of kindness and spiritual unity. Such person is Igor Danilov, the participant of three sensational TV programs that drew a wide public response all over the world. Sincere dialogue about the most important, sense of life is immortality and unity. This man, living in a country torn by multiple internal conflicts, publicly supported the necessity for all the people to unite with each other on the basis of good, humanness and mutual understanding to consolidate their efforts in joint creative labor, self-improvement and perfection of the surrounding world. Today, people in many countries call Igor Danilov the man of peace, Mahatma or the great soul, just like Mahatma Gandhi was called in his times in India. For millions of people across the globe, he is an example of honor and conscience, a hope for the future of light and justice, an inspirer of peaceful global social initiatives and changes in the world community. Here is a simple question. Would you like to live in the world where there is honesty, decency and peace, where you can walk anywhere at night, other than help from other people you won't feel anything bad, where you won't be offended, robbed or people won't steal from you? Of course. And who doesn't want to live in such a world? Everyone wants to, that's the thing. And why do we live in a different world? After all, this world should belong to people, and they are the creators of their own destiny. Is that not so? Humanistic ideas addressed in their four set programs are supported by many people in different countries, including participants of the Alatra International Public Movement, in which every individual can take part in formation of a new type of society based on spiritual principles, unity, peace and friendship between all the people on the earth.